I'm so excited to be here tonight to present Susan Wojcicki with the Free Expression Award. As the CEO of YouTube, Susan is facing some of the most critical issues around free expression today. When billions of people are on your platform every day, how do you make sure that everybody has a voice but also feels safe? And how do you do that across the versions of YouTube that exist in 100 different countries and 80 different languages? These questions are important to me because YouTube is where I found my voice. You might not be able to tell by looking at me, but I'm blind. I lost the majority of my vision when I was 14, and that year it felt like my life was falling apart. Until I found a group of girls online who loved beauty and fashion as much as I do. When I no longer had friends in real life to turn to, I found these online creators to turn to, and they felt like my friends. I knew that one day I wanted to be able to build that same sense of community for other people around the world who felt like they didn't fit in. And six years ago, that's what I did. Now, every single day, I get to share my story and advocate for a world that's more accessible for everyone. YouTube gave me that opportunity, and every day, YouTube gives people the opportunity to express themselves and the freedom to feel like they have somewhere that they belong. The freedom that YouTube gave me is so important to me, and I'm so grateful. And that's why I feel honored to introduce to you Susan Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube. She's been called one of the most powerful women in technology today, but for creators around the world, we just know her as Susan. Let's take a look at her work. Susan Wojcicki is shaping the way that over a billion people access the media. She is unquestionably one of the most powerful media executives on the planet. Video has never been easier to create, it's never been easier to watch. And so we think about ourselves as a platform for the next generation of media companies to be able to create content and to distribute it to the world. And I also really care deeply about the freedom of expression and the fact that people all over the world can use it to tell their story. Are you a feminist or a womanist? A question a lot of black women will have. The rundown, the 101 on the language of the blind. It's incredibly important that we have a responsibility framework, and that has been my number one priority. We're removing content that violates our policies. You can go too far, and that can become censorship. And so we have been working really hard to figure out what's the right way to balance responsibility with freedom of speech. Susan's also helping to reimagine and reshape what's possible for women around the world. Ever since Susan started running on YouTube, the percentage of women in YouTube has increased significantly. Representation matters. If women do not participate in tech, they're losing the chance to influence the largest economic and social shift of this century. We realize we have really broad reach and we want to make sure that we, as a platform, are using it for good. I know I can make it better, and that's why I'm here. Susan, I'm so honored to be able to present you tonight with a free expression award for your incredible leadership with YouTube. And I just want to say thank you for all the work that you've done to empower people around the world to share their story. And I'm thrilled to be able to ask you some questions about your perspective on free expression. Thank you, Molly. Thank you so much for being here and joining me here tonight. Now, I know that your passion for free speech has been in part impacted due to your family's history. Can you share how your family's experience has shaped your ideas of free speech? Sure. Uh, well, so on both sides of my family, they came to the United States because of the need um, or different kinds of persecution on my father's side. Um, it was due to political persecution. My father came from Poland and for a variety of reasons, um, after World War II, um, it became important for them to leave. Uh, and my father escaped from Poland and wound up coming to the United States. And, uh, you know, my grandfather was never able to leave. He remained in Poland and was behind the Iron Curtain. And I saw how difficult it was to communicate with him, uh, to be able to worry about what you were saying to him and for him to have concerns about um, what was said or what was even sent to him. 
And then on my mother's side, they came to the United States for religious persecution. And so I've just seen the real benefits that freedom of speech has, as well as representing all people of all different backgrounds and all different perspectives. And that the freedoms we have, we really can't take for granted, that we really have to um, make sure that we're protecting them in every way possible. And I feel, um, because of my family history, a deep connection to to those freedoms. And I'm very thankful for the freedoms that I have. Absolutely, as we all should be. Um, now, when I started on YouTube, all I really wanted to do was just be authentic and share my story. But of course, as I've grown, there's been more pressure to speak for others in my community. And with that becomes a lot of responsibility. And I know at YouTube, you guys are always juggling responsibility at such a high level, always needing to try to balance people's right to free speech with protecting our community from content that can be harmful. So can you talk to us a little about that? Sure. Uh, well, first of all, we want to be able to have as diverse and open a platform as possible and represent as many views as possible on the platform. But we also need to make sure that there are limits and that we can see that sometimes um, that um, we, you know, we've always since the very beginning of YouTube have had community guidelines because we've realized that there are certain types of content, um, like some of the very beginning, we wouldn't allow um, adult content, hate content. Um, dangerous content, all of those types of content could really make it that YouTube was no longer a platform that was viable for all these other voices out there. And so we've always had community guidelines, but as YouTube has become bigger and um, has had more of an impact, we've seen the need to increase what we're doing from a responsibility standpoint. And this has been an area of increasing importance for us as we have certainly gotten bigger. And we call this whole work the responsibility work. And we actually talk about the four R's of responsibility. It involves literally thousands of people and a large amount of work across the entire company. But, uh, but uh, if I sum it into these four different R's, the first one would be remove, which is that we're always updating our policies and when content is violative of, of any of the policies, uh, unfortunately we need to remove it. And uh, so we removed 9 million videos last quarter um, and almost all of them, over 90%, we was removed with machines, which is good because it means if there's content that's violative, we find that really quickly. Um, and the second one um, is, is raise. So being able to um, raise up um, authoritative information. So for example, in the pandemic, um, we served hundreds of billions of impressions that came from different health organizations, like whether it was the CDC or the equivalent in countries all over the world. Um, and making sure that people get information from um, the right medical sources in the case of COVID or, or news from authoritative sources. So we're working to make sure that we can raise up um, the information that we uh, is valuable for our users. Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of content that technically meets the spirit of what we're trying to do, but it is, uh, it's borderline. And so for that content, we um, will just reduce, meaning we're not gonna recommend it uh, to our users, it's still on the platform, but it's content that is not necessarily recommended by our platform. And the last one is, is reward, which is that we have a higher standard for where we serve our advertising dollars. And that has many reasons. A, we want to, um, you know, ad, we want to do the right thing for our advertisers and they care a lot where their ads show up, but we also want to protect creators like you who have built businesses with really, really valuable content and make sure that you're, um, that we don't have a situation where advertisers pull their spend because there's some content on it that they're not comfortable with. So we want to make sure we're protecting all the valuable creators like you. So those are the four R's of responsibility that we think about as we are, uh, as YouTube is growing and we're continuing to invest. And it's been a huge priority for me at YouTube to make sure that we are balancing the openness of YouTube, but also the responsibility. That's fantastic. I think all of those are very valuable steps that YouTube has taken. And I'm curious to hear how you feel free speech plays out on YouTube with creativity. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, first of all, I think that YouTube has really enabled a lot more creativity. And I think it's amazing we have creators like you um, on the platform and that we can hear from you from you know, different perspectives that we probably wouldn't have heard with traditional media. 
And I also just look over my lifetime. So when I was a kid, I remember there were just, I don't know, not that many channels, um, probably less than a, a hundred at the most channels. And maybe when I was a teenager, there were a couple hundred. And now with YouTube, we have millions and millions of channels. And that has just unleashed a huge number of different views and perspectives. And we can hear from people that we never would have heard from beforehand. Absolutely. Thank you, Susan, for chatting with me and congrats on your very well-deserved award. Thank you so much to the Freedom Forum for having me here today and for this award. I recognize the significance of freedom of speech and I'm so honored to be here today to receive this award.